Hey everyone, it's Pastor Paul Krampitz. Uh, we're working our way through Luther's small catechism. If you've uh, been with us so far, we've made it through uh, uh, an introduction to the catechism and uh, the first six commandments. Uh, today we are on commandment seven, you shall not steal. What is this? We are to fear and love God so that we neither take our neighbor's money or property nor acquire them by using shoddy merchandise or crooked deals, but instead help them to improve and protect their property and income. Um, by now, I think you're getting the pattern here. Luther's explanation uh, begins rooted in our relationship with God. Um, and then Luther expands what might seem to be the apparent meaning of the commandment to include other things. So not just don't steal, don't take what is not yours, um, but also don't acquire those things by using shoddy merchandise uh, or crooked deals. Uh, Luther is talking about using honest weights and measures in trade, um, deceptive uh, trade practices. Uh, I'm sure that Luther would have a lot to say about the fine print and some of the uh, um, credit card agreements that uh, we often uh, um, sign without really fully understanding. Um, there is a sense that... Um, Business is about maximizing profit and really taking advantage of others. Um, I'm not saying that all corporate entities do that or all businesses do that. But here Luther offers up a pretty high standard by which we treat one another and by which we engage in commercial transactions. Um, not only should we avoid um, dishonesty, but we're also supposed to help and improve others, protect their property and income, not engage in practices, not do things that would put others' property and income at risk. I think that has a lot to say with people that offer financial advice, um, those that trade stocks, make investments on behalf of others. Um, that we are called, each and every one of us, no matter what our profession is, um, to honor our neighbor, to um, not try to get what is theirs um, in any dishonest way, but instead help them to keep what is theirs and to protect their property and income. That can even mean that, you know, if you um, see that your neighbor's uh, a house is on fire, there's a duty in this commandment for you to call the fire department to help. If you see that your neighbor's pet is wandering around the neighborhood, hear a duty in this commandment, you shall not steal, surprisingly, um, to help recover that pet, either by trying to catch it yourself or calling the uh, local dog warden. Um, Luther, again, classically takes this you shall not steal, which seems so black and white, and then expands it to include so many other things. How are we doing with helping our neighbors improve and protect their property and income? That's a great question. Probably we could be doing better. Well, that's it for this time. I thank you for joining us. Uh, we've got three more commandments uh, to go through, and then we're going to be moving on to the Apostles' Creed. So until next time, Pastor Paul saying goodbye and God bless.